Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to set up your items by using the item generator. The item generator is the best way for you to successfully set up all the items in your project that you're providing to your backers. You should use the items generator exclusively for setting up and editing your items. Now it's time to name the item that you're going to generate. In this case, we're setting up a t-shirt and it's going to have multiple options. Next, if you're offering different options for your item, you'll put them here. Options are like size, colors, and fabrics. And the values for those options are things like small, medium, large for sizes, red, black, and white for colors, and cotton or polyester for the fabrics. Note you can only have up to three option names, but as many values as necessary. You'll notice that after you've set up your items, back here will automatically create unique variants and SKUs right below. Next, you'll decide if backers receive this as part of their pledge level. So if the item you're currently creating right now is part of the pledge level, this is where you can add that item in. If your item has variants and you assign this item to your pledge level tier, BackerK will automatically create the pledge questions for you. So for this example, pledge level 30 and up will receive one shirt. You'll notice if you input a number in the quantity box, you can press the arrow to the right to delegate the same amount to the rest of the pledge levels. If you need to add more to higher pledge levels, you can edit the quantity in the box next to the pledge level. Now you'll decide if this item is going to be available to your backers as an add-on in their survey. You'll select yes or no. If yes, then you'll select the price for this add-on item and you'll enter the description for this add-on item as well. Finally, at the bottom, after you're done setting up this item, you'll click Create Item and wait for the item to be generated. Now you'll be directed to the summary page of your item you've just generated, and you can see where it is applied throughout the whole project. I hope this helps, but feel free to reach out to us at Backerkit by emailing help at backerkit.com if you have any more questions.